Hello and welcome to this video. This video is going to be a complete guide on Leonardo.ai. It's an AI platform that allows you to create artwork from just prompts. Leonardo.ai provides some amazing features that are not available in any other platforms. I'll be covering from basic to the most advanced features that are available in this platform. So let's get started. This is the web address leonardo.ai. This is the home page. If you have not got the access, then you need to provide the email ID here and count me in and it will send you the access within few weeks. I got the access in four to five days. It varies. Once they accept your request, they will send you a mail like this and you have to log in with the same email ID that you have provided. Once you are logged in, this is the home page and the UI is very simple and easy to understand. You will be provided free tokens and then do have the upgrade option. Let's dive in. By default, we are in the free version that is $0 per month, 150 fast generations per day. Once you finish and it will be again refilled the next day and then they have apprentice is $10 per month. If you bill yearly, then the $30 and pro plan is the $60. This is the home page. They are featuring few models they have created. The first one is Leonardo Diffusion. Great for both photos and artistic style. These are some of the images that are generated with this model. Next is Dream Shaper version 5. It's great for both photorealistic and anime style. These are some of the samples. Then we have Deliberate 1.1, Vintage Style Photography. This model generates images with a vintage style. Then we have Luna. There are a lot of models. Some of the models that I really like. This Leonardo Diffusion is a great model to start with. And if you love cute characters, CG 3D renders, then you can go with this model. It's great. And this model, this is the core model of the Leonardo platform. The base model, it is trained on is Stable Diffusion version 1.5. This is the public feed. These images are generated by different people and you can filter them with trends and you can even select the new to see all the new images that are being generated by different people. In this way, you can keep exploring different artwork and you can search any topic that other people are generating. Then we have the community feed, which is the same that we saw in the home page. Once you start generating images, you'll find all the images here. This will be your personal feed. The next is training and data set. This is a great feature that Leonardo have provided. You can select few images like 5 to 8 or 10 images and feed it here so based on those images it will train a model i'll show you you can easily train your model if you want to train your own model in stable diffusion or in lora or in dream booth it's a huge process and takes much knowledge to create a perfect model but here they have made the user experience so easy that you can easily just upload 10 to 15 images and it will create a model. The next is fine tuned model. Here you can see all the model that you already saw in the home page. Let's try with Leonardo Diffusion. So you select the model and click generate with this model and you will be taken to this page. This is the area where you need to provide the text prompt. So let's try with this prompt. Space view form a spacecraft, magical, planet, stars, nebula, highly detailed and realistic. Here you can select the diffusion model. So you can even change it from here. Stable diffusion 1.5, stable diffusion 2.1, Leonardo signature. And you can add negative prompt here. If you toggle this, let's type only blur and on the left hand side you can see lot of options here is the number of images that you want to generate which is four by default you can select as two or three or four whatever so i'll be going with two for now this is the magic prompt they have introduced the version two of the magic prompt you can activate it to create stunning output it will provide some text prompt after your prompt you have the control of strength of the magic prompt. If you go higher, your prompt concept will be deviated, but you'll get a very good image. But if you lower the magic prompt strength, then your output will be more near to the text prompt that you have added. So I'll be testing all the permutations and combinations and show you. And 
we can select any of the image dimension that they have provided even we can set a manual image dimension from width and height i'll be going with 16 is to 9 guidance strength is the cfg scale that you see in stable diffusion the lower the value the more creative the image will be higher the value the image will be more towards the prompt that you have provided so in simple terms less value more creative higher value more towards the prompt they have control net and tiling feature also here you can add image and these are some of the advanced feature use fix seed you can set your specific seed if you have any otherwise by default it will have a random seed and scheduler scheduler they have already set it as leonardo it's their model so you don't have access to it now let's generate this image with the aspect ratio 16 is to 9 two images and with the magic from activated these two images are generated with the magic prompt strength 50% around now let's try with none and we will see the difference these two images are generated with the style none can't make much of a difference between these two now let's try without magic prompt i relatively like this image this feels more sharper and more clear now let's try with the magic prompt with the full amount this is the image it have made it too creative when you hover on the generated images you will be able to see lot of options this is the unzoom image basically it will create images outside this boundary and it will create a wider image of this so let's try that and it will cost five token it's ready it took like two minutes let's see it have created the outer surface i was not expecting this this is the smooth upscaler it works best with focus subject the images that have depth of field and this is remove background from the generated image this is for image to image once if you click this and this image will be sent here for image to image generation and this is edit in canvas so you can edit this in their canvas it feels little bit clumsy to my test they have added lot of features which we don't get in any other competitive applications and you have the delete button here you can enlarge the image and see and here you can select image in this way so to access this control net feature you have to select this stable diffusion model and you will be able to see three features pose to image edge to image and depth to image now let's train a custom model with few images that i have already generated through mid journey so once you are in the training and data set click on create new data set just give a data set name mid journey so i'm writing mj moon journey let's create a data set so it have added the name and here you need to add the images that you want the model to be trained on so i'll be selecting these eight images let me show you these are the images i'll be training on so it have human figures and the spacecraft, the space vibe, abandoned space station. Let's see what it does. Select all and upload. So there are in total 12 images. Now you need to train model. And if you want to upload more images, you can upload it from here and you can even delete it. And you'll be provided with this page. Here you already have set the model name. This is the training resolution. My images are quite higher than 512. So I'll be selecting this and I don't have them in a square format. Our images are more kind of illustration come photography. So let's select photography for now. You have to type a model description here. Images for space journey and the base model on which your images will be trained on. You have to select here. So you have two options, stable diffusion 1.5 and stable diffusion 2.1 as we are selecting 768 by 768 so we'll be selecting 768 version 2 of stable diffusion this is an instant prompt this is basically the token i will be adding moon start training the model it will take some time they will notify you through email here you can see the status processing this is the ai canvas so this is infinite canvas if you zoom out it will keep going this square box is the area where the image will be generated from the prompt that you type here the pan button 
then this is the select button here you can select and move the frame whatever you want this is the draw mask you can mask any area like in painting in stable diffusion erase and upload image and download the artwork it's very simple and you have the undo and redo button here this is the prompt area and if you want to type the negative prompt you have to click here and type the negative prompt this is the zoom in zoom out button and here you can select the stable diffusion model it works only with the stable diffusion not with the leonardo models not with the custom trained models so they have not added that feature it only works with the stable diffusion here you can select number of images every image is with one token and you can select the dimension bottle on a green grass field detailed let's not type any negative prompt for now this is just to show you how the entire ui and all the features work let's click generate here you can select any of the images let's select this image you can add lot many keywords to generate it doesn't work like mid journey with short prompts it have to be very elaborate so you can explore prompts that generate great images in stable diffusion so you have to explore lot of prompting that are used in stable diffusion and use them here suppose you want to extend this image by adding a sky so here you can select the selection tool and move the frame and just place it above it and write under prompt dramatic sky it has seamlessly merged the previous image with the new image i have selected two images so you can like see the options so this matches more with the color tone will be selecting this and accept it has seamlessly merged both the images here you can add image let's type red grass let's click generate beautiful it have not destroyed this object wow this is great you can even select all the images that you have generated separately like you can move it anywhere in the space it creates a image over another image these images are lined just below it we don't have any layer feature here you can even delete that let's merge these two area i'm not doing any creative prompt i'm just testing the features great it have added this seamlessly it was great let's you can select the draw mask tool and create a mask in this area and type green grass and generate now it have seamlessly merged both the images so guys in this way you can use the canvas features and you can go crazy with different prompts but you have to use prompts that works great with stable diffusion not like mid journey our custom trained model is ready so let's generate image from there select our custom model and here you can see mj moon journey the model that we have created let's use this view generate from this model your custom model will be selected here and let's try moon 8k detailed no negative prompt for now let's select none images looks great this is being generated with the magic prompt with the full value let's try switching off the magic prompt and try the same let's try with a prompt that other artists have created let's copy the prompt paste it and our model is selected generate lovely so let's try image to image so let's upload the image the image is uploaded and to remove this image this is the button to remove it spacecraft crashing on the moon 8k let's generate it's great i like both the images this is texture generation this is in the alpha phase you have to upload a 3d model let's select the file obj and here you can see it's a model of a chair this is a great feature that leonardo provides it have added the 3d model here it's basically like ai texturing you don't need to learn substance designer substance painter so you need to type your text prompt here i have just added chair texture wooden and sofa material and click generate and your material will be created and this generation takes 30 tokens it have generated the texture for the model 
and it's great it have recognized the handle of the chair and the sofa mat area it have added the wooden texture in the chair handles and it have created a fabric type of texture material so it have recognized the object and have added it accurately this is a awesome feature that they have provided when the final version will be out it will be lot accurate if you want to download this albedo map so you have to go to the assets and here you can see the seed and the text prompt and the negative prompt all the details are here and this is the albedo and you can download the all asset and they have added the albedo this is after unwrapping the uv map so you can add this as the albedo map in any cg software in blender or in maya whatever so guys every day you will be able to get 150 tokens and start exploring with all these models and create art for free and you will be able to generate these type of stunning images the image quality here will vary based on the prompting these images look stunning and they have crafted their prompt according to stable diffusion format if you are trying to achieve this type of output you have to type the prompting based on stable diffusion format not like mid journey mid journey by default provides great images with very very short prompts so guys if you have any doubt please do comment below and i do reply to each and every comment so feel free to ask whatever you have doubt so guys thank you for watching and please do like and subscribe to support my channel